everyone. Thanks for joining me. This video will be much shorter than my last one, but it kind of is a continuation of uh, talking about the mentality and the mindset of our generation. So a singer-songwriter by the name of De Demi Lovato uh, says that gender reveal parties are transphobic. So a gender reveal, what is that? Well, let's talk about sex and gender. They're two different things. Biological sex is uh, the anatomy that you were born with, and parents like to have a party to identify whether they're having a boy or a girl. Now, I want to tell you that those words, parents, mom, dad, boy, girl, are starting to be annihilated within our culture. In fact, there's a real push on um, eliminating those names in order to be inclusive of the trans community. But, okay, that's a sideline. The problem here is that gender reveal parties, according to this singer, is that they are transphobic because there are boys with vaginas and girls with penises. Okay, this is not true. This is not true. And yet, <clears throat> our culture is buying it hook, line, and sinker. And this particular um, woman has given, uh, I think, about 11 pages on Twitter to talk about this. Really? Because it's very important to trans activists, because they dislike gender reveal parties, because they claim that it uh, diverts from reality. Can you hear the language? Are you listening? You should be, because it's important to hear this. So Lovato also claimed that basing sex on genitalia is inconsistent with science. No, it isn't. Basing gender, perhaps, because gender is a social construct. Sex is a biological reality. And those are the problems we're having with language, because now we all talk about gender reveal instead of sex reveal because sometimes it's not always that comfortable for people to talk about the sex of their child but let's get this straight gender is a social construct it's how we identify express let's use that word we express either our femininity or masculinity but this uh, particular person says that reality is the concept that Humans are born without the concept of gender. And she, she means we don't have an idea whether we're male or female. Well, that's not all true because it's coded into our genetic system. So she goes on to say more that gender binary, so that is sex, male, female, identification claims that there uh, are biological boys and girls uh-huh we're right and she but she says that that fuels transphobia transphobia according to her is not just about prejudice but it's um, a way of thinking that gives understanding to uh, non-trans people like myself and most of you listening as more natural so we consider that our biology is the natural expression of our sexuality. But she says, understanding like that it erases everyone else. Well, until just a short while ago, um, there was no everyone else. As we talked about, there was a, a small, very, very small percentage of the population who had a mental disorder called gender identity disorder, which has now been rolled into this transgender uh, ideology and umbrella. They were very small and we recognized it as a delusional disorder. Now, she says that gender binary ideas, male and female, fuel mistreatment of the trans community. And it's based on the illusion, of course, that genitalia is equal to gender. It, well, it's equal to sex. And most of us uh, express our 
our femaleness, our maleness, according to our genitalia. Quite honestly, that's the truth. And uh, she said that there are not just two options as boys or girls, and that gender reveal parties require uh, an invalidation of transness. It eval invalidates the trans people. Well, I'm not sure that it invalidates them, but it just puts things in perspective. Um, and she's upset because um, the baby, this little one just born, um, is assumed to be either male or female, and that we're actually originally born male or female, which she uh, says is not real. And it's not a reality and it's not true. That everyone is just born and then they get to decide. Can you see where the language, where the culture, where this identification and the trans activists has been leading us to? It's pretty scary, folks, and I think we need to pay attention to it because it's going to erupt in your home, in your family, at some point in time. Thank you for listening. Thank you.